Hey traders, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And this is the weekly watch list for November 27th, 2022. Hope you guys all had a good uh, Thanksgiving. And let's jump right into this uh, chart. Um, S&P EMA futures, right? Um, last week, I said, watch out. Uh, we potentially could break out um, of this bull flag. I kind of drew this in last week's video. Guess what? We broke out, went right to the 200. We're stuck here. Now, we do have a double top here, right? It's very interesting. And let's get rid of this because I'm going to show you guys another chart. Look at this chart. This is my five-day, five-minute uh, regular trading hours uh, chart. This is why I yet update every week uh, for my members um, to show them any open gaps and VPOX. And what we actually have here is over Thanksgiving is a island reversal or a abandoned baby, right? Um, it's probably more of an abandoned baby. Uh, island reversal is usually a couple days, abandoned baby, just one baby, one day, right? Um, but I like kind of interchanging. changing it's all the same thing uh pretty much where we gap up go sideways gap lower never fill the gap um and then there's that space right because if you think about it, if we activate this right this is where that space goes right so we never came back on either day to get up there right or in uh, friday's training so very interesting uh, to see what happens. I am going to just say this is a great risk reward trade, right? If we open up anywhere around here, I think you could get short, maybe even a rally back up here. Um, but then all you do is you use this high as a stop, right? Um, if we break above that high, you're out. See, the trade didn't work, but we do have this double top up here, right? So I'm just trying to show you guys using a couple different charts of how to do all this, right? Um, also, we are at the low volume nodes right here. Now, the question is, is do we break higher and go higher if that doesn't work? If I believe if we break above that 40, uh, 50 level, um, we're probably going to this uh, trend line and then probably from here, which will actually end us up right around the 4110 level, um, which is a low volume node. If it keeps going, uh, watch the point of control right around 4162. Like I said um, also last week that I thought we were going higher. This is what happens every single Thanksgiving, right? Um, just that motion back up. Now it's going to be, hey, how were all the sales over the weekend? Uh, things like that for Thanksgiving. Um, and from what I'm hearing, they're actually been pretty decent. A lot of online, but not a ton of great deals from what people are saying. Um, so again, we're just trying to read the charts. I would say going out on a limb right here i would say hey watch for this chart right here this island reversal if we open up anywhere around here um potential short again now this is trade advice um it's a training education i'm just some dude on youtube but i think it could be a potential good risk reward type of a trade so uh, with that being said check this out real quick if you want to help support my channel, get some trading education, and also get weekly S&P E-mini trade zone levels, support, and resistance, then you need to sign up with my $99 lifetime subscription, one-time payment of the S&P weekly trade zones, where you will get support and resistance levels, any open gaps, and VPOX, and you will also get a seven hour video course of my top five trading strategies that I go over that I use on a daily basis. Also, as a bonus, you will get over 30 free Thinkorswim custom indicators and charts. And you will get on a weekly basis every weekend, Thinkorswim 
share chart uh, so you can upload the drawings directly to your charts if you use another uh, brokerage firm here are all the levels that you'll be able to draw your own levels on so make sure you check out daytradingfearless.com to sign up or the link down below again $99 but back to the video okay um, so let's uh, now move on uh, to the NASDAQ NQ okay NQ very lagging if anything guess what uh, what's going on here right uh, we actually have a divergence right here right kind of a lower high but a double top right um, this is potentially called a hidden divergence where um, as we're going up right uh, maybe watch for a break higher but with Apple gang hit this um, with them with their news everything just tech I don't know market may roll or roll back on over um like I said it's kind of like we all know the feds coming out but now things start to get a little worse um crude oil went right up I thought we were gonna break out and guess what Ugh, reversed we're now making a high a low lower high lower low lower high right do we make new lower lows um, now remember this the US has said they will start to be a buyer of oil right around the 71 72 level okay which is right around this level right here okay the 71 72 level um, to start to refill the strategic um, reserves right so you're talking a million barrels uh, I think or sorry 180 million barrels that they need to do well I think they're gonna put a floor in oil potentially could we see 71 of course but somewhere around there you're gonna see big buyers coming in and buying up that oil taking oil uh, demand off the market just something to think about potential trade maybe we chop around um, if we get down here we do have a low or a high volume node right here at 71 so to be seen what happens with that uh, Bitcoin yeah I do not like Bitcoin um, I've been calling for it all year uh, 11,000 12,000 um, bear flag let's see your magic work fall what's the next shoe to drop in Bitcoin um, but again we get down to those levels I kind of like it for a potential long-term trade um, down at those levels so uh, that's a Bitcoin still bearish on it to uh, take a look at GLD for a uh, gold um, nice uh, bounce off these lows that trades now over um, but now we are making higher highs higher lows kind of filled the gap almost here maybe we kind of roll back if we get back to the 159 level um, watch for a potential bounce nice little pullback all we have to do is draw our fibs fib retracement and just like magic right oh look it's kind of right at the 38.2 uh, level so um, I, I was talking with a friend um, who follows gold they said there was a huge buyer in gold um, storing it maybe they know something maybe they don't uh, but that's where this big rally has come from so just something to think about uh, silver same thing um, silver uh, probably nice bull flag right here break out to the upside but we will see with silver um, again I'm bullish on them uh, all but maybe buy buy them on the pullback and what's kind of crazy with gold and silver they were for all my life you buy that to hedge inflation well guess what here's inflation and it doesn't hedge it but now all of a sudden as inflation's kind of starting to dissipate right we're no longer seeing things going up every day right housing's coming down used car I've seen food prices come down normalize a little bit um, gold and silver starting to rally go figure what's going on there um, and then uh, Apple uh, watch Apple Apple's really interesting right here um, with they're talking about that uh, there might be about about a 30 
eight day wait for the iPhone 14 because they're having all those supply issues. Does that hurt them? Because guess what? Next quarter, uh, they're not going to have good numbers. So maybe they start to price that into the market. Um, I will say we do have a bull flag here, but um, it feels heavy. We are making lower highs, lower lows. Um, so I would just kind of keep that in mind. This was just a retracement of this leg. Um, so we will see exactly uh, what happens there. So um, that's it. Be safe out there. Um, oh, uh, one last thing is uh, make sure you guys check out um, Elite Trader Funding. Um, I have a link down below. Use BF Thanks uh, code for 65% off lifetime members uh, or lifetime membership uh, while you're trying to pass the combine. Um, it's a I'm actually uh, purchasing one of these. I want to kind of do it. I might track it or make a couple of videos on it, but uh, just something to think about if you want to be funded as a uh, funded trader, something really, really um, inexpensive. Uh, I like the end of day drawdown, not these, but just the three contracts, I think with a discount like 50 bucks or something. Um, so, but check them out, do your uh, homework, do your research on it. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.